Hi everyone! <laughs> I look literally insane. Ew! Hi everyone, my name is Audie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna look like an egg. Hi everyone, my name is Audie and welcome back to my channel. Why do I look drunk? Every time I film a video where I don't have makeup on, it takes me such a long time to like get started because I'm just infatuated by how much of a potato I am. Hi everyone, my name is Ollie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a kind of quick, casual, little get ready with me because I haven't filmed a get ready with me in literally such a long time and I feel like so much has changed since then. So I was like, you know what, let's bring it back to basics and just film a little GWRM. In today's video, I am serving you obese Tinkerbell realness. How self-conscious am I right now on a one to 10 scale? Probably a 12. Do I care? Yes. <laughs> Do you know what? Who really cares? Do you know what I mean? It's 2020. Who cares? Like who actually cares? You know when you've just had one of them mornings? Like I've just had one of those mornings. It is now two minutes to 10. Normally I start getting ready at about half seven. I get up at half six, start getting ready by half seven. That is what I plan to do today. But I have just had one of those mornings. I'm gonna keep my sunglasses like this, by the way, until I start doing my makeup, because I'm not actually trying to hide my eyes, I'm just trying to hide my massive forehead. To do this video today, I wanted headphones, so that I could have one in and like listen to my music whilst I was chatting with you guys, because obviously YouTube, with the copyright, you cannot be playing your tunes, because YouTube gets stressy about it. Yeah, I was gonna have my headphones in, because I always listen to music when I'm getting ready, and, I can't find them anywhere, and I don't actually know what my problem is with headphones. I used to have AirPods, and I literally lost them within like a month, and I haven't seen them for like six months. I, I literally just don't know where they've gone. Like, they've just disappeared out of my life. So then I had to go back to like, you know, the headphones that come with your iPhone. Had to go back to those. Now I've lost them as well, so it's been really stressful. I've literally spent like two hours looking for them this morning. Hence why it is now like 10 o'clock. Then I had another mare. One of my, um, so obviously I've got my blingy nails on. Is this really bright? Like, I feel like this is, ow. I feel like this is bright central. Am I like, ugh. Are you okay, honey? Can you even see my hands? Like, I'm gonna be editing this. Like, what are you doing? I don't know if you can even see these, but they are baby pink and glittery and sparkly and cute. But, um, where was I going with that? Oh yeah, one of the gems came off my nails, one of the crystals, so then I had to reattach that, and that was a palaver. I've decided to make myself a gallon of coffee. This has got like five tablespoons of coffee in, so that's like, what, 10 cups? Lol. I've now been recording for 16 minutes, and I haven't actually started doing any makeup yet so I should probably do that. On the night when I was going to tan I forgot that I was going to tan and then it was like 10 o'clock. So hence why I look like this. I just took a DNA test, turns out I'm 100% ugly. I think today we are going to try out a load of new products. I think I'm going to try this today which is the Revolution Pro Full Cover Camouflage Foundation. So if you haven't already seen it, I will link it above my head. I did a massive makeup shop and I got stuff from all over and I spent about £300 but I actually got £600 worth of product um, and this was one of the things in that shop. So that foundation is like so thick. Thick. Oh my god, this is actually horrifying. <laughs> I'm just gonna set that down now with the Revolution Banana Light Powder. This powder is literally the only reason that I wear this t-shirt because 
already, I don't know if it's going to show on camera, but already there is just so much makeup on this top and I've literally been doing my makeup for about three seconds. So now that I've just kind of done my eye area with a bit of foundation, we are going to move on to brows. So to do my brows today, I'm going to use the Technique Brow Pomade. I'm using shade Light. <laughs> So I've got the base of my brows done. Now I like to go in with the Technique Ultra Fine Micro Brow Pencil. And um, I think this is in shade Blonde, I think. Either shade Blonde or Light. I can't remember how they shade name it with the um, pencils. But, and then I kind of just like to like draw like hairs at the front. And I also use this to like extend my tails. And basically just any like sharp aspects of the brow I do with one of these. Wow, okay Ollie MUA. So I've literally just carved out the underneath of my eyebrows. So now that I've done that, we're gonna move on to shadows. So like I said, I'm thinking a pink, pink kind of vibes today. So I'm not gonna need, ah, not gonna need this one because this one is blue. Oh my God, I'm desperate for a wee. Okay, so one issue I'm already having with this foundation is it's like creasing really bad. We are gonna now move on to the eyeshadow. So I've just like, buffed my eyes out again just to try and get rid of the creasing. Hopefully it won't come back, fingers crossed. So for my eye look today, I'm probably gonna dip into like several different palettes, which I know is probably really annoying, but welcome to my channel. I want like peachy pink kind of colors, you know? So I'm gonna start off with this one here, which is Rose Water, which is like a kind of cute blush color. And I'm just gonna pop that all over my lid. Don't come for me in the comments if I use the complete wrong brushes for like absolutely everything. Wow, she's a model. Now I'm dipping into shade Ghost just to like buff that out a little bit. So don't you love it when you're literally pale enough that you can just buff out an eyeshadow shade using like the literal white shade? I feel like I have to like say this before I go any further. When I do my shadow, this like entire area here, like this whole outer area is gonna look absolutely insane right until the last minute. If you are watching me do this and you're thinking, what the hell is that? Don't worry, I'm gonna fix it. Now I'm gonna use some Prey Line, which is this one here. And I'm just gonna go in like on my lash line and kind of like just deepen that bit up a little bit. Now I'm thinking maybe I want to do a cut crease. This is why it literally takes me like six hours to do my makeup because I can't make any decisions. Yeah, do you know what? Why not? You only live once, don't you? Gonna take some more of the C1 Revolution Concealer and I'm just gonna do a little cut crease situation. Isn't the worst part of doing your makeup just waiting for it all to dry like in between? So annoying. What do we think? Hmm. I'm kind of feeling this one, you know. Okay, so my camera just died and I didn't realize that it had died. So the only thing that I've actually done is put the blue on my lids, which I absolutely hate. I was supposed to be doing like a cute pink peach look today and I've ended up looking like this and it's honestly not a vibe, like it looks horrible. Why well, does this look so bad? Like, honestly. I think this is stressing me out as well because this is the first time, because obviously I'm quite new to eyeshadow stuff. This is the first time that I've done an eyeshadow look that I've absolutely hated. I think what I'm gonna do before I go any further, so normally I would wait until the end to do this, but I think I need to clean this all up and then kind of assess the situation and go from there. So like I said, normally I would do this at the end. I normally wouldn't do this at this stage. Um, but I'm just gonna clean all of this up so that I can see what I'm doing. So, 
basically what I do to clean up my eyeshadows and get a makeup wipe and I'm literally just gonna wipe it into shape but I'm messy so I literally get a makeup wipe like this and I just start wiping it into shape where's my glitter? I said this earlier as well, I said at the beginning of the video, I was like, I'm not having a good day, nothing is just working for me today. And when I have a day like that, I really try my best to work through it. But it's just like, what is going on? The universe is just like, not today for you, honey. Look how bad it looks. Ugh. Blending has left the building. I'm literally so close to just taking this off. I can't believe how bad this looks. No, honey. No. Am I just wasting my time? Should I just take this off and start again? I spent so long. Oh my god. I'm literally never wearing eyeshadow again. I'm sending all my palettes back. I think the first mistake came into play when I decided to do a cut crease. I feel like that was one of the worst decisions I could have possibly made. Should I just put some massive eyelashes on and hide it? Why? Why? Why are you even like this? <laughs> so my thought process with my eyelashes was um, if I use big ones then at least it's going to cover up the eyeshadow but these just look stupid. I just look stupid. What is going on? What? on earth possess me to use blue. Blue is such a stupid colour, like, who even invented blue? <laughs> I'm committed now. I spent such a long time doing this stupid makeup that this is what's happening. I'm sticking with it. If it looks crap, that's fine. I'll just say it's artistic. This is the look we're going with today. I'm going to call it ugly because that's what it is. Disgusting! So to prime my face today, I'm going in with my standard primer, which is the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. I always use this primer. I find it's really good because I do suffer from quite large pores. And I pretty much just apply it to like, my cheeks and nose because that's definitely where I get the worst um, exaggerated pores and also where I get the worst like oiliness throughout the day. <sighs> Do you know what I feel like this is? This is like punishment for not tanning this week. That's what this is. This is the world saying, Ollie, you should always have a tan. This is not like the usual vibe of my videos either. Normally my videos are so like happy and like bubbly and I feel like the backing music for this video is not going to be in line with the mood of the video, you know? It's like, my backing music is like... Dun, 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 dun. For this video, it should be like... Something aggressive. <laughs> okay, so... The foundation is applied. I've set it down with my Revolution Banana Light Baking Powder. It is really, really thick. This is probably the cakiest foundation that I've ever used. It does look flawless, like it's not bunching up weird. It doesn't look like gross or anything, do you know what I mean? It, like it looks nice, but it's incredibly full coverage. I think because this foundation just isn't like setting, it's just sticking, like, but I did, I've put powder on everything. Like, it should have dried down. This is just, ugh. Why is it like the one time I'm filming it, it's decided to look absolutely dog shit? I think it is awful. You're a perfectionist as a so. It looks awful. Okay, um, I think next I'm just gonna do those last few bits on my eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna go underneath and basically just match that with like the top so that it's in line, if that makes sense, and blend it a little bit in with the kind of apricot color. So now I'm going to move on to highlighter. So like I said earlier, I am going to use the Mega Glow highlighter from Technique. This is my go-to highlighter. I honestly love this so much. I'm trying to like get better with my highlighter placement because I feel like 
it can sometimes be a little bit sloppy like especially on the cheeks it kind of ends up just going everywhere which like I like a glow so it's not really a problem but I would like to get a bit more precise with my placement of it so I'm going in with a smaller brush than I normally do so for my lips today I'm gonna go in with the PS matte liquid lipstick uh, ooh, doesn't say a shade on here I want to say it's called shade cookie dough but that might be wrong um, and then for the lip liner I'm gonna go in with the revolution satin kiss lip liner in heart race um, that's pretty much it Okay, and then to top that today, I'm just having a look. So I actually quite like the look of this gloss because it's quite similar to like the colours that I've got going on. So I think I'm going to go in with this gloss over the top. This is by Revolution and it is in shade Pure. And then as always with my lips, once I finish my lip look, I always like to get a makeup wipe and literally just do this. just to take off all of the lipstick that would get on my teeth okay so that is the um finished look i hate it with every bone in my body for setting spray today i've just used this one by i Heart revolution this is the fixing spray in cookies and cream I absolutely love this. It does smell really nice, but it doesn't smell like cookies and cream. It smells like, it's like spicy. I don't understand why I said I was gonna do pink and then I did this, because this isn't pink at all. This is like orange and blue. Okay, so this is the finished look. So I've just gone and popped on um, a little robe just to like, I don't know, try and take attention away from my face. I'm probably gonna get comments saying that it doesn't even look that bad. Um, I think it's not actually just so much the makeup. I think it's just like, I just feel like nothing has gone right today. Do you know what I mean? Like normally it would take me like an hour to do my makeup max and it's taken like three hours. I just don't like how it looks. I don't like the colors. I just, I don't know. It just feels weird. Now my battery light is flashing. Honestly today, oh, this is the third battery that I'm on. The third full battery that I'm on. As always, all of the products that I use today will be linked down below if you do want to check any of them out. So I hope you all enjoyed watching today's video. If you did enjoy watching today's video, please don't forget to leave me a massive like and subscribe down below. If you have any questions or comments for me regarding today's video, please feel free to leave it all down below in the comment section. Also, don't forget to check out my Instagram account. I will pop all of the details in the description box and they will also be on screen right now. And without further ado, I look forward to seeing you all in my next video.